From Kramer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Minerals and Metals Process Engineering Company, Consulmet, launched its 5TPH Dense Media Separation Test Plant at its facilities in Johannesburg in March. Nadine Ramdas tells us more. The DMS test plant was constructed by Consulmet to offer its customers bulk DMS testing that delivers results suited to their requirements. Previously, the company outsourced bulk testing. It's a dense media plant, all right, which means that it can do a density separation all right, and give you a result on a resource to say um, you may upgrade your resource through a density differential of X all right, and we can run various simulations. So in, in effect, a client would come to us with a sample that is potentially upgradable through a DMS operation. We will then run the sample through our DMS um, at different densities, different scenarios, pressures and the rest and get some res uh, results for the client to say that your resource is upgradable and a DMS will give you such a, a benefit in terms of your mineral processing. That information then helps assist us to then design a fully customised uh, processing plant for the client with the DMS as being the heart of the plant. The plant can be used to test a wide range of commodities. The project was a collaboration between Consulmed and its suppliers to develop and construct the plant. The plant that we've put together here um, was a need in the industry where we, th we saw that th the industry actually needed a sampling plant um, that would give a definitive result to our clients. Um, for, for that purpose we then approached all our suppliers of our mechanical equipment within the plant, um, the Vibramex, the Multitex. Um, and uh, mixed techs, a lot of all of our standard suppliers that we had and we said please come and hold hands with us let's build a sampling plant that we can present to the industry and say you know this is a, a plant that then represents the best equipment in the industry and this is how we can actually treat your samples and give you a definitive result on your resource um, with all of us involved at that point in time. Collaborators on the project supplied various equipment for the plant at the launch, they expressed their enthusiasm for the plant, which meets a unique need in the mining industry. When Consulmet uh, called us uh, to make a contribution to a test facility that they were building for industry, we said, yes, we will uh, like to contribute equipment. Um, so we uh, contributed a magnetic separator, a DMS cyclone, uh, pumps, screening media, screen panels, um, sieve bands, uh, static screens, a whole lot of equipment uh, that is Multitech is known for in uh, DMS plants. To continue as collaboration, you know, we're very fortunate to have forged a very good relationship with Consulmet and most of the guys, you know, I've known personally through the years from previous companies as well. So we see that as a continuous collaboration on, on small and large projects. So we're very fortunate that most of the projects Consulmet have done, we've been, we've been lucky to supply the vibrating equipment. In addition to providing bulk testing, the plant also offers equipment suppliers the opportunity to better their equipment and test its effectiveness. The suppliers of equipment within the plant are constantly thriving to actually modify, um, get better efficiencies, wear rates and all the rest out of their equipment. And by them collaborating with us on the plant and donating their and sponsoring their equipment into the plant, they then have access to their equipment to do testing on their own equipment and offering us improvements on their own equipment uh, to say, give it back to the industry to say we've improved our equipment uh, through test work in such a manner and your efficiencies on your plant could, could be improved by X, Y and Z. So it's very helpful for them because the information that they gather from this plant when it's operating um, serves in their own R&D department. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.